the last few weeks has been extremely hectic because playoff baseball is returning yet again. The best race for fans to watch has been the wild bipolar weird strange AL West race. Every which way, the unexpected happens in this race. I mean we've gone from the Rangers being heavy favorites to win the division, to the Astros being heavy favorites, back over to the Rangers being heavy favorites. It has been chaotic, and last night's Astros Mariners game showed just that. But this doesn't date back to just last night. This dates back to last season. The Astros and the Mariners had their tension in 2022, and it even resulted in the benches clearing and a fight happening. Simply a mess between the two teams, and so far this year, it has definitely carried over. As we know, the Astros are loaded with talent. They have one of the best teams in the sport, from the pitching to the hitting. The Mariners, on the other hand, win off of having the best pitching in all of baseball. They had a 20-year-long playoff drought and had obviously recently ended. Finally, Mariners fans had a lot of optimism and hope for the city of Seattle. They ended up being eliminated early last year, but the optimism and momentum was still there for Seattle. Overall, this Mariners team has been about what we've expected, except there is one major problem that needs addressed now. And that problem is the Astros and the Rangers, and unfortunately, for the Mariners, the Astros and Rangers are not slowing down. Both teams are currently ahead of the Mariners, and the Mariners are just flat out choking because the Astros came into this series as the most ice cold team in baseball, yet just managed to win two out of three against the Mariners. Leading up to that series, it was very clear that the Mariners' time to succeed was this. So losing that series could have very well costed the Seattle Mariners a playoff spot in 2023. Considering the very high stakes, it's obviously clear that there were a lot of tensions that felt very high between the two teams. The Astros have one of the best teams in baseball, and they play just like that. The Mariners have one of the better teams in baseball, but they looked lost in this series. And the series before this, they got swept by the Rangers, and then headed into this Astros game and completely forget how to pitch with quality. And as frustrating as it was for Seattle, it just kind of was what it was, right? But for the Astros, they took it much differently. In the last game of this series in the sixth inning, for whatever reason, Hector Neeris turned into an absolute clown. After striking out one of the most electric players in baseball, aka Julio Rodriguez, Heart Attack Hector proceeds to start yelling and cussing as he walks over to Julio after striking him out. I mean, you just struck the guy out. Great job. Go celebrate in the dugout. Get a pat in the head. I don't care, bud. Get, go get your candy in the dugout. No. Instead, he just went over to him and started cussing. Absolutely no class by the Astros in this moment, and it ended up leading to J-Rod turning around as Hector was going into his dugout, and J-Rod just started going off. And I mean, to be fair, it's not like J-Rod initiated anything, right? He was just going to go back to his dugout calmly. No, instead, Hector wanted to make it a scene, so J-Rod said, alright, it'll be a scene. Obviously, if someone says the first word, you're going to give them the words back, right? Especially in an atmosphere like what we saw today. And it also shows that Nearest is an absolute clown, considering when Nearest had struck him out, he was going towards him, he was cussing and doing it all, right? No, 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 no. Then Julio goes towards him, and he suddenly is going back to his dugout. All right, bud. He went there real fast like he was a mouse being chased by a cat. After the game, tensions were still pretty high, and in a press conference, Gino Suarez went ahead and said, and I quote, That pissed me off. If you want to enjoy your strikeout, enjoy your strikeout and go to your dugout. Don't do that. Don't chase Julio and do all that bullshit he did. For me, I don't take that. You gotta respect the people. In the end, the Astros won the game, and the Mariners simply didn't do enough to win. Gino Suarez is frustrated, and really all of the Mariners players are frustrated, and now we're in the toughest spot that they have been in all season long. They're one and a half games back from the Astros and two games back from the Blue Jays. The next series is going to be huge for the Mariners. They have a four-game set against the Rangers, who literally just swept them the series before the Astros won, and have been playing incredible baseball. Now, if you want to go ahead and talk about positives for the Mariners, there actually are a few. The biggest positives is that the Astros have a very good Diamondbacks team that they're about to go up against to end the season with for three games. And the other team that they're competing with for a spot, the Blue Jays, are on the verge of being swept by the Yankees. And then, after the Yankees, they have three games against the Rays. Realistically, if the Mariners just play good baseball over the next few days, 
they'll find themselves in the postseason over the Blue Jays or the Astros. If not, their season is over, and it was all for nothing, and they are done, and I will make a video on what the Mariners need to do this offseason to improve. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought of this video, and peace out.